Hey, it's Neil from Gentry's. Wanted to give you a little short video this morning. Um, I realize the camera works not the best because I'm actually doing this on the selfie cam. Aren't right, I handsome? Doing this on the selfie cam on my phone. Um, cleaning, disassembling, taking apart a uh, Winchester 1200 for uh, my uncle. I don't know when the last time this gun's been cleaned. Uh, I know this cleaning method is not something that everyone's going to endorse or like, but I wanted to show you something that I have started to do personally that I'm very happy with, very happy with how clean it gets the guns. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys this and uh, some people on YouTube are going to slaughter me because this is, you know, not the proper way to clean them um, in their opinion. But, you know, it's YouTube. Everybody has an opinion. This works great for me and gets guns as clean as I can get them and um, gets all the junk out of them. So I'm going to show you how nasty this gun is. Then I'm going to take you and show you a little bit about what we're doing when we clean these up or what I do when we clean these up. And um, we'll go from there. So, all right, cool. I'm going to flip the camera around. Got to pause. See you in a minute. All right, this is what we're looking at. I'm going to try to get the best picture as I can. Like I said, this is a Winchester 1200. Um, I haven't dated this gun. It is absolutely nasty. Okay. Um, for obvious reasons, uh, I'm not going to uh, check this thing that it's unloaded. Huh? <laughs> because clearly it is unloaded because it's in pieces. So it is... Um, Flat out gross, as you can see. So, I'm gonna take this thing back, drop it in the parts cleaner, and let you have a look at what we're doing. Okay, that, this, is a handy dandy $69 parts cleaner from Harbor Freight. That, gurgling extravaganza, is a coffee pot. So, we are literally, pieces, going to take our parts and pieces, drop them in our parts cleaner. Uh, this has that isotonic kind of solution cleaner that comes with them. It's a little kind of sticky, I guess would be the best way to put it. I'm gonna pause you again. Okay, we're back. I wanted to show you the trigger group, um, how nasty this thing is. And uh, for those of you on YouTube that are gonna slaughter me, yes, this is water. Yes, I'm aware that I'm putting metal parts in water. Um, however, hopefully as we do this, I will uh, give you guys a glimpse kind of as to what I'm up to. So. All right, so we are going to set our time and we are going to hit on. You hear that? That little vibration. This is round one. Um, this thing just ran for 480 seconds, which for those of you that struggle with math is eight minutes. That is what the water looks like after eight minutes in the parts cleaner. I'm obviously gonna dump this water out. I'm gonna put the parts back in it and I'm gonna do this again. Be back with you. All right, we're back. This is what it looks like after round two. So you can see how much cleaner that is. From here, we'll take these out. Um, look at how much better that looks. Holy cow. From here, we will take these out, um, run a toothbrush over some of this to scrub it. Look at that. There is not a bit of gunk anywhere on that. Run a toothbrush over these to scrub them. Um, we'll take these, literally take these, put them under a kitchen sink, uh, run water over them, through them, all around them, which is going to make some of you very nervous, and get all of the solution out of them. So we're gonna do that and be right back with you, show you the next step. Okay, next step, they've been rinsed out, they've been shaken out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a toaster oven. If you remember your high school chemistry classes, water boils at 212 degrees. So we set this handy dandy toaster oven at 200 degrees. We put the parts in the toaster oven, we cook them for about 20 minutes. Whenever we take them out of the toaster oven, all of the water is gone out of them. They are bone dry. There is no moisture. There is no lubrication in them whatsoever. So we will be right back with you. Gonna set our handy dandy toaster oven on 200 degrees. If you do this, obviously don't use paper, use some cloth. Be very careful it doesn't touch your elements or you will burn your gun parts and your toaster oven down. So probably not OSHA approved, but it's highly effective. Okay, our handy dandy easy bake oven just went off. So our parts are done cooking. Um, obviously they are hot because they've been in here at 200 degrees. So just wanted to let you guys get a look at them. No water, no moisture, extremely clean. Look at the inside of that thing. 
So the key, if you decide you want to clean parts this way, is at this point, there is absolutely no moisture or lubrication left in this part whatsoever. So the key, if you're gonna do this, I'm not worried about rust because there's no moisture left in this because I cooked all the moisture out whenever out, whenever um, we put it in the oven. So there's not any danger of rust coming through from residual moisture. But that parts cleaner did remove all of the lubrication and oil. So you do have to oil these down extremely well whenever you go to put them back in the gun. So that's it. They come out cleaner than I've ever been able to do it manually. So um, hope you like it. And uh, for those of you that the water kind of freaks out, I don't know what to tell you. We've, I've been doing this for probably about two years and uh, absolutely love the way the guns come out. So thanks a bunch and come see us at Gentry's. Bye.